Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. Um, let's see, today is January 24th. All right, this is just going to be an energy check in but of course readings are timeless so whenever you hear the messages when you are meant to receive it um keep in mind the energy is fluid so this could be past present or future this could be your story or someone um close to you or just in your energy keep in mind also that he could be a she she could be a he if you are new to my channel welcome and if you're returning thank you so much for your continued love and support i really appreciate it Personal readings are still closed, but if you would like to support the channel, all you have to do is like, comment, subscribe, and share. Information for tips and donations can be found in the description box. The magician card just fell out, um, but I still feel like I need to shuffle. So, let's see. <clears throat> you guys, I did recently upload the all 12 Zodiac readings for just the end of January. It has been quite some time since I did the um, Zodiac signs as I've been mainly doing channel messages. So be sure to check out the reading for your sign. I'm going to start back um, adding the Zodiac readings to the channel. Okay. I had a really interesting dream last night and it was so crazy to me because um, in this dream, you guys, I was fighting. I mean, I was, I was fighting <laughs> and I actually, I got up, I got out of the bed, I got back into the bed and it was as though the dream resumed. Like I went back to the very part of the dream where I was at. It was almost like I didn't want to fight this person, but, um, I was forced to fight this person. And let me tell you, baby, listen, that person, you know how people say you really shouldn't bother a quiet person. <laughs> I tore this person up. And it was sort of the fact that I woke up, I got back in, <laughs> woke up, I got out of the bed, I got back into the bed and I went back to the, like, it was like, no, I have to show up for this fight. So this magician card is still here and the world card, I'm just going to go ahead and start here with the magician card here. Some of you guys, you definitely could be ending um, a cycle where there's been a lot of conflict, a lot of confusion, some manipulation for some, even some type of magic. Okay. Now I don't like to bring my energy into a reading but i i felt like i needed to share that um dream with you because maybe some of you have experienced the same thing or you will the world card is here there is a cycle here that is ending there is a new chapter here but i do feel um in this new chapter there's going to be an opportunity for you to really manifest exactly what you want but you have to wrap up wrap up some type of unfinished business as i said in that dream that I had, I did not want to. And so I, I was fighting this person, but it was like, I didn't want to, let me just be honest. I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to kill this person. Okay. I was fighting this person and, and it, listen, I laid the person out, but then I, I went away. I woke up and everything. And it was like, I, when I went back, it was like, no, you have to finish them. <laughs> So um, take that however it resonates. Some of you, um, the best way I can put it is that there's a situation here where you may have wanted to end a situation, but you didn't, you didn't end something completely. It's still unfinished. Okay. You've left something unclosed. You've left a door open and spirit is saying, no, you have to close this. You have to dead this situation. Yeah. Two of pentacles here. Yeah, you could be very stressed out or, or worried or confused about letting go of someone um, that you love dearly or someone that has expressed love to you. The King of Pentacles is here. Okay, this could be someone here that. Um, okay, King of Pentacles. Some of you, this is someone here who has made an, a love offer to you or you have a King of Pentacles that's about to enter your life. I feel like going back to that magician card. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. <laughs> five of Wands, Five of Swords, Seven of Cups. So you already see this is conflict, this drama, it's the chaos. It's everything that I mentioned before. And this is someone here coming back from the past, most likely with the Moon card here and the High Priestess. Heavy, heavy um, water energy here. Cancer is out here twice with the chariot and the moon card and the high priestess being here. There could be a high priestess out here who um, is a cancer or there it could just be anyone. They could be cloaking themselves. You could be a cancer um, or you could be fighting against some type of cancer. There's two cancer cards out here. 
six of cups, a lot of water. We did just recently have that full moon in cancer. So, um, there could have been a lot of things that were revealed to you recently with this full moon in cancer, to be honest with you. You could have really found out that someone for sure was trying to hurt you. Someone was trying to um, cause like some type of heartache, some type of pain, some type of grief. For some of you, someone could have even tried to make you sick. I feel like you are healing. I definitely feel that somebody here has experienced some type of really crazy attack. Okay. Um, this could have been a spiritual or psychic attack where you honestly, you may have been feeling under the weather. Okay. A lot of people are experiencing ascension symptoms, but no, there's a person here. I feel who has been doing various things to bring about hurt or harm. And you may have really tried to just kind of walk away from this situation, which is fine, especially here in the 3d, but spiritually, there is something here that you have to fight or you've had to do that recently. Um, some of you, this King of Pentacles could be someone from your past, but I, I pick up that this could be new love for you. Okay. Um, this could be new love, or this could be a situation of you dealing with someone. It's like it's new love, but I feel like you've already connected with this person. Maybe not even physically, it could just be spiritually. But there again, there's someone here trying to block something from coming in for you. Someone here has been trying to cause some type of illusion. All right. And it's it's a it's a battle. You have a five here. I've been saying for the longest for some of you, it's anywhere from three to seven people that are working against you. And this could be a group of people doing this or you could just have a friend doing it, a family member. All right. There could be a group, a, a coven somewhere that's doing this. But for many of you, you you're going up against several people and you're very confused. I feel like some of you, you don't really know exactly who you are trying to fight or or. Yeah, you, you may not know exactly who this is who this is or you didn't know but with the full moon in cancer it just seems like something here is coming out even if you don't know exactly who it is in the spiritual realm you do know who it is and you're fighting this person or you're going to be called to fight this person and again this is something here that you cannot um you can't leave any any doors open here you can't leave a door or a window open because this devil is going to find a way to get back through. Some of you, um, you're healing, okay? I've said a lot of times, some, many of you, you have tried to heal someone who is very, very dark. You can't save this person, whoever this is. You cannot save this person. Heavy cancer energy out here. Cancer, um, Aquarius, and Capricorn. You have the moon, the chariot, the high priestess is here. It could be a um, Pisces or a Scorpio. Let's see. Tell me about the moon energy spirit. Why is the moon here? What's going on with this moon or this cancer? <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think that some of you definitely, you've been juggling. Okay, or this could have been someone in your past who was juggling you. Or this could be related to a person you were dealing with who, um, you know, this could be a, some type of third party situation here. Take it however it resonates. If you listen to the story, you should know exactly where you fit in here. Okay, yeah. So there's someone here who has betrayed you for sure. Ten of Swords is out here. And then the Empress. Somebody here wanted to stop you. Perhaps you are the Empress. You have a brand new beginning coming here. Somebody wanted to end you. They wanted to stop you, slow you down. Someone here has betrayed you. They've deceived you in some type of way. And I do feel that this is being, um, it has been illuminated or it will soon be illuminated exactly what has happened, especially with that full moon. Some of you though, you are releasing this. This could be, um, a mother. This could be someone's wife. It could be someone's, um, like the, the mother of another person's children that's doing this to you. And for some of you, though, as the Empress, you're embodying this energy as the Empress. And again, you're manifesting something brand new. Um, and I think that what you're manifesting, honestly, is this new offer here, this King of Pentacles. Now, this King of Pentacles does not have to be a romantic offer for, for everyone. This could be even you stepping into this King of Pentacles energy where you are loving yourself. You love your life. You definitely could be um, making more money. 
And of course, that's going to attract a King of Pentacles type of offer from another person. This could be a business partnership, whatever it is. So there's something coming in that's going to bring about um, both emotional and financial stability and security for you. After a period of really juggling and having stress, fear and anxiety, a lot of the stress, fear and anxiety that you were um, experiencing or even this emotional imbalance or roller coaster, it was because of the things that were being done in the dark. For some of you, there's definitely been a person who has been projecting some type of crazy energy onto you where they wanted you to feel very confused. They even wanted you to feel defeated. They wanted to somehow get something like over on you. They wanted to have a leg up. This is someone here who is competing with you. Friend, family, lover, the partner of, you know, someone that you could be separated from that you, you know, is a romantic interest. But there's someone here who is competing with you. And I feel like they do have help. Tell me more about this. Um, Ten of Swords and the Empress. Yeah, somebody definitely wanted to put you flat on your back, I feel. Yep. Look at that. The Wheel of Fortune, the World, and the Three of Wands. Somebody wanted to stop your destiny. Okay. And I feel like this is someone here that you continue to give some kind of grace or mercy to. You may be... For some of you, you honestly didn't know who this was. Or you were just like, no, that person wouldn't do that to me or whatever. No. It's being revealed to you now that that's exactly what was happening. Somebody has been watching you, spying on you, I feel. Especially watching you while you work. They could possibly be trying to steal whatever it is that you are doing. Okay. This person though has been wishing ill or death on you. Okay. Because someone here is spying on you constantly and they see that you are growing and transforming. The nine of pentacles is here. Someone sees that you're growing, you're transforming. Things in your life are going extremely well. Okay. Even though you have this unfinished business with this person or whatever unfinished business you may have in your life, because I do feel that someone knows some information about you. They're hoping that this information is going to somehow end you or hurt you in some type of way, but it's not. The wheel of fortune is here. It's like whatever you want is still coming in no matter what, but there's definitely a person here who has been trying to block a brand new beginning for you. But I've been saying this for several weeks now, whatever is supposed to come in for you that is, you know, this blessing or this abundance. For some of you, it, it could have been delayed. Yes, but it wasn't it wasn't blocked. It, it, it's not stopped. OK, it wasn't a no. It was probably just a, a not right now type of situation. But spirit wants you to fight against whatever this situation is with this person, which is like I said in my dream, the reason why. I got up and when I when I got back into the bed, I went right back to that person. It was sort of like no matter what state of consciousness you're in, no matter where you are, what you're doing, like this is something that has to be done. There's someone here that you have to confront. There's someone here that you have to let go of completely in order for this wheel to completely turn. <clears throat> Something about this situation is karmic. As long as this the business here is unfinished, it's like this wheel is turning really slow for you. And it could even stop. Yeah, eight of swords. Yeah. Someone wants you stuck in your head. That's what this is all about. I'm telling you, somebody here has been doing a lot of stuff to manipulate you so that you are confused and conflicted. Um, your only competition is you yourself, but somebody here is like secretly competing with you, but they may be trying to paint a picture that you're competing with them. Okay. But I feel like justice will be served in this situation. Somebody is going to give themselves away as well. If you're not sure of who this is, somebody is going to for sure drop the ball and you're going to know who it is. I also feel too, that whoever has been doing something to you, you're going to figure it out because you're going to see. Whatever this person wished on you is going to happen to them tenfold. <clears throat> Some of you, um, you've been trying to manifest a really happy. Wow. So the car that just fell, two of cups. I was about to say some of you have been trying to manifest, you know, a beautiful beginning where, the, where you can start a family or you can connect with your own soul family or tribe or whatever. You're going to notice that with this person, most likely they're going to start having a lot of issues within their family or their circle of friends. That's going to be a, a um, 
a telltale sign for you, but you have the two of cups that came out here. So for a lot of you, this has a lot to do with, um, oh, wow. Let me just, <laughs> this has a lot to do with you going towards a really beautiful new connection or a partnership. All right. This could be romantic. It could be platonic. It could be something related to business or whatever. But many of you, um, you are going towards a partnership where there's equal give and take. This could be, like I said, this could be meeting a new friend or whatever, but the two of cups is here. This is all about you taking a leap of faith and moving in a brand new direction. Somebody here wanted you to be stuck. Somebody here could even be hoping that you go to jail, like I said, or that you will become ill or sick or something. Somebody does not want you to actually move forward. And this energy has been coming out for several weeks now, but you are moving forward. And oh my goodness, look at this that we have here. The four of wands, the hierophant, the three of cups, the ten of cups. I mean, this message is so straightforward. You literally, you this connection here, this king of pentacles, ace of cups here, this is an offer that is supposed to be coming to you. Someone in the background has been trying to stop you from going towards whatever or whoever this is. Okay, for some of you, this could be someone that, like I said, you haven't even met this person or maybe you've met this person, but there hasn't been a lot of communication Something about this energy is, is very set apart. I feel like spirit has been kind of blocking. It's like you have people working against you to block you from something, but spirit has also been blocking you from something because if you were to go towards this new offer right now, like I said, with the issues that you have in the background, it would taint this new connection. So that is the reason why you have to close this door completely in order to go into something brand new where there's not going to be any type of obstacles or challenges because whatever this is and for a lot of you this is a very beautiful romantic relationship with someone this is going straight towards marriage you have here the hierophant the four of wands this is someone here with the three of cups within three to four months you and this person could pop three four five okay this is something here that is divine divinely orchestrated and it's aligned you may meet this person and i'm telling you within six months you and this person may be living together talking about marriage and moving forward because you've already fought all of these battles that have prepared you for this connection. I've been telling you guys now for the last six months, maybe even longer, when the right person comes into your life, you and this person are going to move very fast because you've already earned your stripes and paid your dues with all of these clowns in the past. You don't, you don't have to be engaged to this person for three, four, five years and play all these games. No, this is someone who is coming in. They're ready for love. They're already financially stable. It's like, okay, what size ring do you need? Where do you want to get married? What do you want to do? Because I'm all in. That's what you deserve and that's what you desire. And that is the reason why if you have something that has, is unfinished with someone and it's very karmic, you have to let it go. This is going to be a major shock to a lot of people because somebody here really thought that they had stopped this wheel from turning for you. And it, it, for some of you, you know, we're in Mercury retrograde. This could have been someone who has come back into your life. Maybe you blocked them in the past and you started back talking to them and they were like, yes, I got I got that person. You know, as long as I can get back in now, I can stop them from moving forward. If you reconnected with someone and you know that you don't trust that person, you need to close this down quickly because the whole point of somebody coming into your life or coming around you is to block whatever this is is coming. You cannot make this up. You have the two of cups, the fool. This is a brand new relationship. This is a brand new connection. The eight of wands, positive movement forward, accelerated motion towards the ten of cups, happiness, wish fulfillment. The three of cups with the four of wands and the hierophant, this is a wedding. This is an engagement. This is a proposal, a proposal to live together, a proposal for marriage. And for a lot of you, this is not a past person. This is someone brand new. It doesn't have to be for everyone, but for some of you, I'm telling you, it's like spirit wants to come in and blow your mind. Spirit will show you that I can give you exactly what you want. I can change your life overnight. If you would just stop playing games with this person from the past. When all of this um, stuff happens, someone is going to be heartbroken. And I feel strongly that it is whoever has been constantly trying to cause this chaos, confusion and, and conflict in your life. Who's been secretly competing with you. Someone here keeps competing with you and they keep missing the mark. But the more that you let this person in. 
it keeps giving them the opportunity to try to work against you. And they could be collaborating with another person to do this. Yeah, this is a group here. This is a team or group effort of people doing magic to somehow work against you. Look, to cause delays, to cause this uphill battle. Somebody wants you to feel burdened, but you're not burdened. You actually are free. You're free to move in whatever direction that you want towards love. OK, for a lot of you, you know, this could even be an ex of yours. Somebody wants you to feel like you're still stuck and bound to them, but you're not. I feel like spear has already like cut the cord to somebody. And that is the reason why for many of you, you have someone that's rushing in. Yeah, this has already been decided. It's over. It's done. The burden is no longer there. This is all in, in your mind for some of you. Yeah, look at this person rushing in. Rushing in with some type of small offer. If there's some person that is coming in towards you and you feel like you cannot trust this person, you feel like they have something up their sleeve, you feel like you probably should ignore that phone call or that text, you need to follow your first mind. Because as soon as you let this person that you've already denied access to who has left you in this wounded warrior energy, as soon as you let this person back into your energy field, they're going to have you stuck at a crossroads. And once you get stuck at a crossroads here, you're not going to be able to actually have this, this judgment upon your life where it's going to allow you to move towards something brand new. You're being judged right now, so you need to tread carefully. You need to watch what you're doing and who you're doing it with. Somebody is for sure going to come in and say that, you know, they've changed. They want a second chance. But look. Spirit is saying, don't trust this. Do not trust this. For some of you, this could even be a friend. Yeah, look at this person, all aggressive. King of Wands and King of Swords. Someone here is very aggressive and they do not care about your feelings or your emotions. This person wants what they want by any means necessary. For some of you, this is a past lover. It's a masculine energy. But like I said, for many of you, there's more than one person involved in this situation. Somebody knows that you look at that. The Queen of Pentacles, they know that you're about to have it all with somebody. They know this. What it goes back to this King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Somebody knows that there is a, a person who's coming in who loves you or is going to love you. This person has money and they have the bag. You won't want for anything with this person. Here it is. The reading is so clear. This union brings nothing but stability, security, financial blessings, family, friends, your friends, family. Everyone will approve of this union. Somebody does not want you to have this. I don't know how these people know about what is coming into your life. Apparently, they've been spying on you. But yeah, this is the truth. And look at what just fell out underneath it. Yeah, your true emperor is coming in. But there is someone here that you have to leave out in the cold. This emperor is going to help you get yourself back together. If you've had any type of loss in your life, I don't really feel like I'm talking to a lot of you, though, who are going through anything financially, because a lot of you right now, people are upset with you because you are very abundant right now. This is your true person coming in. And several people know that this is what's next for you. I feel like a lot of people they've seen, they've been watching you and spying on you and they see this transformation. They know that you have everything except a partner. So even if they're not going through great lengths to try to spiritually spy on you, it's just like, I mean, what else, what else could, are you missing? The only thing that you're missing at this point is the 10th pentacle. And the only reason why you don't have the 10th pentacle right now is because you don't have the person. You've already done everything on your own. So the only thing that you are missing is your counterpart. So you literally have people, I feel, who are trying to cause all of these issues for you so that you won't actually meet this person. And they're playing with your mind. They're, they're playing tricks on your mind or your energy to make you think that you won't meet this person or that this person doesn't exist. Some of you need to be careful, too, of telling people about you know if you're interested in someone because i feel like what what will happen is 
some of these people to keep you stuck at a crossroads. Let's say if you tell someone that, you know, you're really interested in someone and they see this person online or this person is a public figure or, or whatever, this person could be someone that's popular. You have a bunch of people who will get around you and they say, they'll tell you, no, you shouldn't talk to that person. Listen, you don't need to listen to any type of gossip about someone new in your life that you feel is for you. Listen to God about it. Don't, don't trust what people tell you about this person because the type of um, calling on your life right now, everybody is trying to talk you out of something. So you really shouldn't trust what anybody tells you because you're still going into some type of divine partnership. And this is something that is actually in alignment with your life purpose and journey. So, of course, it's being attacked. Yeah, everybody is all eyes on you right now. Everybody's trying to figure out what's your next move. Where are you going next? What are you doing next? What are your plans? Especially because they know that this, this love is coming into your life. Yep. Wow. <laughs> this was so clear. Like, it was just so clear. Some of you definitely, though, um... You have a, a really big raise, promotion, love. You have everything about to come into your life and, and truly just fall into place. But I feel that you have so much gossip and envy around you that it's not even funny. But what you really need to be mindful of is the fact that these people are close to you. And some of these people, they keep they keep coming in and out of your life. I want you guys to get in the habit of really paying attention to the moon cycles and things like that. Be careful of these people who... Like I said, they watch everything that you're doing. These people are watching you to see, is there any type of delay or, or a death to your, your security or your abundance? I myself had to, to, to start being more mindful of that. People who, you know, they're checking in on you, not because they care. They're checking in to see, have you failed yet? But I do feel that honestly, whatever you guys are doing and you probably have been building a lot underground, not sharing what you're doing. Somebody is for some of you. Somebody is already um, thinking that perhaps you've moved on with somebody new and they're worried about it because. I'm just going to say that I'm just going to tell you exactly what I see here. All right. This may not resonate with everyone, but I feel strongly that it will resonate with a lot of you. A lot of you have been on a journey for a very long time, okay? It could have been, you know, a journey where, of course, you, for many of you, you have not met your person yet or you have not come into union with your person, okay? Many of you, though, everything that you have done along the way has made you the magician. It has made you the empress, a lot of people have been around you guys. Like I said, a lot of conflict, chaos, confusion, but more importantly, a lot of competition. Many of you have felt as though nobody was competing with you because you were so overwhelmed. You were going through so much. You didn't think that anyone was actually competing with you. But what you don't realize is that a lot of people are very envious of your character. They're envious of your strength. They're envious of your ability to make things happen on your own. Some of you, to be completely honest, and if you can be mad if you want to be mad, some of you, you're doing better single than some of your closest friends and family are doing in their marriages. I'm just going to say what I see here. And you may be thinking that you're missing out on things because you haven't come into union with someone. But let's be honest. Single people want to be married and married people want to be single. You'll be surprised how many people around you that you feel already have the Ten of Pentacles are very envious of you because of the fact that you have the Nine of Pentacles. You have all the Pentacles that they have, but you have it for yourself. People are afraid to see what your life is going to look like when you are actually in a union with someone. There's a lot of people, they do not want to see what your life looks like when you have two incomes. 
They don't want to see what life looks like when you are loved properly and you are manifesting at a more rapid speed than what you currently are already. People are afraid of your, your glow up, your come up. And they're doing everything in the background to stop it. Projecting neg negative energy onto you. Gossip, conflict, chaos, drama, whatever. You guys be careful of those friends that call you constantly. And they, they tell you about their problems. Don't you need to really, really just keep your energy as cleansed and pure as you possibly can. Because I'm telling you people, they can, they can smell the success on you. And they also know, like I said, somebody is coming in that is, can possibly really change your life and make your life go to the next level. They do not want to see that happen. I don't care about these past people. Let's look and see what's the energy around this new connection. Spirit, tell me about this King of Pentacles with this Ace of Cups. Uh oh. I think some cards flipped over. Okay. I thought something flipped over. Let's see. What is this King of Pentacles bringing in? I was going to say, why didn't the Emperor come out? But the Emperor did come out. Because this King of Pentacles person is going to be the Emperor. And the Emperor came out with the Ace of Swords. This is the true Emperor. For some of you, you could be separated from someone. The person that's coming in for you, they could be the same sign. Be careful of that when you're watching tarot and you're trying to read energy. I feel that there's something very similar about this new person that's coming in. They're very similar to someone in your past. They could have the same sign or something like that but you're going to quickly see who the truth is and for some of you you may not meet this person for a while but again i feel you won't meet this person as long as you're hanging on to someone from the past oh soulmate see this person coming in is your soulmate and they're going to bring you clarity if it's confusing it's not for you let it go because what's for you is not god does not send you that spirit of confusion this confusion and all this drama is coming from someone from your past who wants to play a lot of games with you. This soulmate energy that's coming in, this brings about clarity. This is someone who's going to know you right away. You're going to see that this is, like I said, exactly what you deserve and what you desire. And it won't come with a lot of games. This person will come in to confirm things for you, not confuse things. Butterflies, yeah. This is something new. You and this part, you're excited. This is bliss. This is, you know, just being happy. No burdens. You know, you you're already financially stable. You're doing well. This person is doing well. You there's no baggage or or, or like blockages here. It's not divine union. Oh, look at that soulmate, butterflies, divine union. You're happy about this. You're happy. And what did I start out the reading talking about dreams? You may start to see this person in your dreams. Wow. So some of you are getting closer to a union. And because of that, as you connect more with this person, you cleanse your energy. You get these people out of your energy that do not belong, who are trying to block you. You're going to start to get more... Um, more dreams, more clues and everything about this person that's your soulmate. You may start to have dreams about where you may meet this person or certain things they may say. You may not see their face, but you will start to recognize the energy. And I feel like it's something that's going to bring about butterflies for you. You may start waking up in the morning and you're just happy for some reason. You're dreaming about this, this new energy that's coming in. So, like I said, this is someone who comes in to confirm things for you, to make things clear. They don't come in to confuse you. These people, you know, we're in Mercury retrograde. These people from the past who come in and after two or three days of talking to them, you're right back at being up all night, confused and wondering 
well, what happened last summer and, and did they really mean what they said and all this other stuff and you're reminded of all the, the drama that you had, let that person go. And if you're connected with someone and they're still connected to someone from their past and they come in with a bunch of drama, let both of them go because you have something much better coming in. Harvest. For some of you, by the time the fall comes of this year, you will be in a very full blown committed relationship, possibly living with someone, traveling with this person, starting a family with them, a business or whatever. You're planting the seeds now. You've already planted seeds, which is why when this person comes in, there won't be any delays. You've already manifested this person. You're the empress, male or female. You've already manifested this brand new beginning. Unfortunately, you have kept people around you, though, who have been trying to block this. You have to let those people go. Oh, ecstasy. This person brings ecstasy. They elevate your mind, your body, your spirit, your soul. <laughs> yeah, and it's going to be a missed opportunity for someone, a missed chance. You have a new um, person coming into your life. This could be a really high level soulmate, someone that you've known in a past life, which is why things are going to move pretty fast because your soul recognizes this person. Mm -hmm. This looks good, you guys, but um, as I said before, you just need to be careful of some of these people who are coming back into your life, even friends. Um, a lot of people, yeah, you have wish fulfillment coming in once you move away from the conflict, the chaos, the drama. Yeah, these people who rush in, they want to have one night stands and play a bunch of games. They're in and out. Look at that Knight of Wands and the Ten of Swords. You have a person that's rushing into your life and they're going to deceive you. And that is their whole goal to deceive you so that you can't actually see the person who is coming in with a plan to actually love you. <laughs> Stay woke. I'm going to leave it here, you guys. I hope that this provides you with a bit of clarity and insight today. Um, <laughs> this was a good reading. All right. Clean up house. Remember what I said. The things that are for you will bring you clarity and it will confirm things for you. It will not be confusing. OK, I don't care if it's a past lover or the lover of someone from your past. It's time to let the drama go. It really is. You know, everybody, you can do what you want to do. But those of you who are hanging on to these situations and you have masculines or feminines and they come in like I can't remember what reading I did. But these people who come in like hell on wheels to screw your life up you need to let that stuff go that's like i said that dream you have to stop leaving the door open because these people they will always come through the door if you leave a window crack they, they'll come through the window but every time you are blocking your true blessing from coming in and be just as as a you know aware of friends family lovers and the lovers of the lovers Everybody needs to be watched at this point. You have something very beautiful coming in. It's sacred and you need to guard it and protect it with your life. All right. So I love you guys. I hope that this resonated with you and gave you a bit of clarity and insight. If it did, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. Um, information for tips and donations can be found in the description box. Personal readings are closed. If you guys see long, lengthy paragraphs in the comment section from anyone or something on WhatsApp, that is not me. Okay. Um, I do read the comments. I don't, ha I don't get to respond to all of them, but you guys should be able to recognize when there are scammers, they copy and paste the same message to every single comment. You guys should know that that's not me. I do not solicit services. Personal readings are closed and I do not have WhatsApp. Okay. But I'm also not going to close my comments down at this point because a lot of you guys communicate with each other in the comments. I do read the comments, but you all have to be discerning and know that you should not be scammed. A reader is not going to reach out to you to tell you to book a reading with them. That's not how spirit would ever work through me. So <laughs> um, I just wanted to put that out there. But I hope that you guys have a beautiful and amazing day. And I may come back later today with um, more readings. But make sure your post notifications are turned on because I will be um, sharing more of the 
individual zodiac reading. Some of them will be love. Some will be general. Um, yeah, we'll just figure out a few different things to share. Just more content is coming. Just make sure all of your um, notifications are turned on. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.